Hello to all my lively ladies, you're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do a 20 minute shape and tone dumbbell workout and this is a no repeat class today. Okay, let's get warmed up. Let's get all these muscles, ligaments and joints uh, nice and toasty for what's coming up today. So just lifting the arms up about shoulder height. If you want to start off a little bit easier, just bring them down a little bit lower. And we're just step touching here to get the inner and outer thighs nice and warm. You can move off the spot now if you like to, forward and back. So we have 20 exercises today. As you can see, I have a chair set up behind me. We are going to start off the workout with a box squat, which means we are just going to sit down, tap the chair with our bottoms and come up out of it. Now, if you don't want to do a box squat, you prefer just to squat, that's fine. Leave the chair out of it. We're going to add a lateral raise to that move as well. Okay, and um, last exercise, we're going to use a chair as well. Okay, or you can go down lower onto a coffee table or down onto the floor to make it quite intense. So the lower you go with the last exercise, that crisscross mountain climbers, the harder it's going to be, okay? So have a chair handy if you'd like to give that exercise a go. Let's reach these arms up a little higher if you can. If not, just stay down at shoulder height or a little lower. That's it. Stretch out that trunk. Get your breathing down now. Great. Now this workout, apart from the warm-up, this workout is going to be quite slow. Some of the exercises uh, are quite strict to certain body parts. You might be able to go up a little heavier if you have a selection of weights. So if you do have a variety of weights, have them handy. You might be able to switch up to a heavier one because the, the legs will be quite stationary with these moves today. Got some great work for the upper half as well. Let's do four and three two now hold those legs a little bit wider maybe than shoulder distance keep the shoulders down and away from the earlobes sit into your little chair push back and if you want to you can go back and actually start doing a box squat here if you're new on the channel just make sure the chair is not going to move on you push it up against something uh, something nice and sturdy if you're working on a wooden floor but if you are new here and you're not sure about squatting just get get a nice firm surface, like a firm couch, firm mattress, or even the kitchen chair seems to work the handiest. I think it's the most true to life when it comes to squatting. But sit your hips down, tap the chair, and come up out of it, and a little squeeze of the glutes. That's it, not too much. Don't overly squeeze your glutes, or you might end up hyperextending your back. Nice straight spine, that's it. Just warming up the muscles in the lower half, that's it, good. Pressing the weight into your heels there and just making sure your knees are tracking outwards. Okay, that's important that they're not caving in. Good. Lift up and drive yourself up. Now, if you don't need the chair, that's fine. Squat away. But I always think using a chair is great because it gives you a, like a good depth in your squat. That's it. Push back. And let's do two more. Keeping the chest up as always. And let's reach across the room now. Torso reaches. So when you're squatting or lunging, always find a, a fixed spot and stare at it in front of you. Try to get out of the habit of looking down at the floor. That's it. Tap out the floor with your toe. Punch out the ceiling for me. Good. Drive across. And 10, 9, 8 seven six five four three two and last one now hold your feet there in that position and let's circle the arms clear your space here you don't want to knock anything down good nice big circles if you find this a little bit difficult just try a smaller circle okay you can even do one at a time because this is quite challenging good we're waking up all of those little ligaments there you can feel everything Cracking and creaking. Let's go the other way. Those little tendons getting some heat into them. That's it. Good. Nice big circles, keeping your core engaged. Now, so make sure you're making a little uh, connection there with your tummy muscle. So draw your belly button towards your spine and hold that position without holding your breath. Now some shoulder work. Punch out the ceiling. Punch, 
punch. That's it, good. Driving that arm right up to the ceiling. Well done. Long arm by the earlobe. And you'll actually feel some uh, tummy work going on here if you engage your core. We you do that little core activation I've just spoken about. Good. Drive up. And five. And four. And three. Two. And last one. Okay, crisscrossing in front. Let's get the legs moving again. That's it. Good. Open up the chest. Well done. That's it. Feel a lovely stretch there in the pectoral area, the upper part of your chest, into the front of the shoulders as well. Push right back. Just imagine you're pushing something heavy away. I always think water makes a great image when you're trying to visualize how to switch on your muscles. That's it. Good. And four, three, we'll get going now. Two and one. And before we get going, let's just wake up the ankles and the calves. Now I'm picking 20 exercises today. Of course, I'm going to try and get as many muscle groups into those 20 exercises, but there'll be a few things that may be left behind, like things like the calf or maybe even, I don't know, the chest. But uh, I have a few chest flies, all right. But um, just make sure that you include some of these muscle groups as well throughout your own training when you're working out yourself. Like things like the calf, they're a very forgotten muscle group. So these simple little exercises are great and they increase the blood flow right down to your toes. You might even start feeling your toes tingling now and getting warm. That's good. It's great for your circulation. And of course, some calf raises up onto your toes, contracting the quad, sorry, not the quad, the calf muscle itself down there. And feel uh, that, that uh, contraction deep in the belly of the muscle. That's it. Rise up onto your toes, slowly roll back down onto your heels. Good. Lift up and roll back. Lift up and roll back. Good. It's, and they actually tire very quickly. You'll probably notice how quickly they fatigue. So reach up and roll back. Now you know what's coming first. I'll talk you through the rest of the exercises through the transition period, which today is 15 seconds and it's 45 seconds to do your work. You can increase the work time if you want. You might be used to some of the exercises and you may feel like you want more work. That's fine, that's great. And you can also increase your rest time, which means you decrease the work time. So you just work within your own fitness level. Good, whatever, wherever you're at in your journey, that's fine, you tailor that to suit your needs. Okay, let's do two more. And last one. So the first one is the box squat. And well, I actually didn't show you the lateral raise. So just sitting on the chair, hold the weights in front, come up and do our lateral raise. Very, very basic. Let's get going now, 15 seconds. Okay, all right. Now, if you're liking these videos, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. That'd be absolutely wonderful so that we can push the videos out to more ladies like yourself, okay? So, and I want to say a big thank you for all the likes you are sending me. Okay, sitting in the chair and come up out of it. So again, just tapping the chair like you did there in the warm up. And when you come up out of the chair, squeezing those shoulder muscles, getting some shoulder work done, as well as working the lower half. Now, of course, like I said, you can do this without the chair, unassisted. When you're sitting in the chair, send that pubic bone down towards the chair, okay? Sit down, good, sit down, and keep your spine nice and straight. Good work and reach up. Well done, and we finish it out here. Great. Okay, now we have an alternating knee raise next. So your knee raise, just do some knee raise for the hip flexors, and we're going to add in a bicep curl. I'm going to really slow this down. I'm not looking for cardio today. Nice, slow, strict moves. And you might find you can go a little heavier here with this, because the, le the legs are quite slow. Now feel the hip flexors working here, the muscles at the front, and then tuck your elbows into your side, contract your biceps there, the front of the arm, and draw the weight up towards your shoulder. Don't lean back. Good, that's it. Keep your breathing coming, and go, coming in and coming out. 
inhaling and exhaling. Contract, relax, nice and slow. Good, well done. Quickly I'll show you now, bent over row. So starting position, weights suspended in front of you. Row back into a tricep kickback, okay? That's exercise three. So engage your core here. Do a slight little retraction of your shoulder blades. Long arms in front and back into a tricep kickback. Good. Don't be, don't be afraid to experiment with different weight. Row, kick back. Good. Row, kick back. Well done. So you're working the back muscles here. Trapezius, rhomboids that lie between your shoulder blades. And we're working the, into the triceps a little bit. Good. And just holding this position here, this bent over position, you'll be working somewhat into your legs. You can probably feel a little bit of fatigue coming in through your legs now. Good. Now we're going to go with a narrow squat next. Um, I'm going to go a little heavier. I'm just going to add some butt squeezes. So narrow squat, I'll just show you quickly. Butt squeeze. And then we'll do the other leg. Okay, so we'll be alternating legs. Narrow squat. Butt squeeze. Good. Great lower body exercise this. And I went up in weight because I'm working quite large muscle groups here. Working the quadriceps at the front. Of course, you're working those glutes. Try and keep your chest upright. And squeeze, good. Look, find that fixed spot, look ahead. Good work. We have a side lunge coming next with a shoulder press in the middle. And then side lunge to the other side. So a big leg move coming after this one. Down. Well done. Okay, now, in case you find balance a little bit tricky with lunges, now if you can't lunge, just do a side step. But if you find balance a little bit tricky with the lunge, change your weight down, okay, or go body weight even. Just go side step it now here if you're learning how to lunge still, or you're building up strength. That's fine, or you can put the weights down, leave out the shoulder press, and use your chair for assistance. Reach up, good, over, reach. Keep your chest upright here as well, reach up. Take your time, again, we're not doing cardio, so we are good. We're working on building strength here in the inner thighs, the groin area, getting some shoulders in as well. We have a squat upright row next. Again, you can use your chair if you need assistance with squatting. I'm going to try this now with a little bit more weight because squatting is a big, big leg exercise. So we're going to go down and then upright row, okay? Let's go together now. And upright row. Keep a little gap between those dumbbells there for me. Good. Now we have our running man. Do you remember that one? It's coming back today. So, I think the last workout we did a body weight. Today I'm going to add a little bit of weight. Progressing it a little bit, but not too much. We'd start off light with the weight. Up. That's it, keeping that chest upright for me. Remember, good squatting technique there, letting the knees track out over your shoes. Press the weight into your heels. Good. Reach up. Chest up for me. Well done, okay, now we'll switch down for running man. Okay. Now, it's, it is very much a lunge position, but the more, the deeper you go with lunge, the more work you're gonna have to do. So you can come up right here like this and just get the arms to run fast, okay? So let's see how we go. We're gonna switch around for the other leg after this one. Again, looking, finding that fixed spot run those arms in front of you. The deeper you go with that knee, that back knee, the more work you're going to have to do. Go. Come on, give me some nice punches there out in front. It's an isometric hold there for the lower half of the body. That's it, it's holding its position. Come on, keep going. 10 seconds left and you're done. 
take a rest with this one it's just changing to the other leg because the arms will be very fatigued they have to repeat the move next <sighs> well done right take your 15 seconds i really do recommend it okay just the other leg now has to step behind that got the heart rate up i didn't think i'd get the heart rate too high today but there you go let's get into position now abs engaged to help with balance deeper you go remember now the harder you're working punch that's it good come on you can do it do you want to try and get that knee down a little deeper go for that you find that's too stressful for your legs come up a little bit punch punch good you can mix between the two come up high if you need a break and then work your way back down that's it come on punch get those arms to go a little faster for the last few seconds good we're back to lunges next now side lunge and curtsy lunge okay and i'll quickly show you oh the arms are fatigued right so we're going into a side lunge and then into a curtsy now you can just sidestep it and step the leg behind you with a tiny bend of the knee if you are if you find lunging a little bit tricky for you good stay on one leg side lunge it flows very nicely you can put your foot down for extra balance you can go heavier and hold the weights out in goblet position in front of you that's it step across or side lunge across that's it good and curtsy and obviously the deeper that leg goes that knee bends behind you the more challenging that's going to be for your balance and your strength down we go nearly there now good and well done okay we leave it at that now let's do the other leg now even though i said no cardio today my heart rate's elevated because you're working very large muscle groups with lunges and you're going to get out of breath okay let's go with it so we're side lunging and curtsy side lunge curtsy i always feel like i need so much space for curtsy lunges side lunge. i'm try and get down a bit deeper curtsy that's it and knee to floor if you can don't worry if you can't just work again within your own range of movement that's it side lunge curtsy good I've got going back to some upper body next chest fly into chest press and curtsy well done big leg moves You're feeling a little bit of work going on there in the front now chest fly let's keep the legs still chest press okay all right let's get ready abs engaged shoulder blade slightly retracted open push forward good push forward nice stretch again there for the chest open wide push forward good push forward and drive forward that's it again try not to lean back keep your spine nice and straight use your breath and exhale good inhale exhale now we've got two knee raises next with a shoulder press so i'm going to really hit the upper half now and we're going to just do a little seat like a little thruster and double up the shoulder press so let me just show you that one so knee raise one knee raise two sit down thrust okay very very basic move this one now might put that heart rate shoot that elevate that heart rate for you one take it slowly though two sit down and reach you can do a narrow squat like i did there or you can open up the legs and just do a regular squat if you want i think it flows really nicely with the narrow squat reach up and thrust one and two sit and reach that's it both of them one and two sit and reach good we're feeling a little bit of tension coming into the shoulders that's fine 
good and two sit and reach and two and we'll just finish it sit and reach good now we have a split squat and we've got more shoulders a bit of shoulder work coming up now in the next few exercises so you know your split squat position legs are held open wide you want to go up and down and punch out the ceiling good now again with any lunges if you're struggling with them put the weights down put a chair in front of you and use the chair as assistance you can do a little mini lunge here too okay so don't be afraid if you see a lunge and say okay i have to pass that one you know bypass that one give it a go using your chair just do even little mini lunges even getting into the split squat position is great for your mobility it'll bring some flexibility and mobility and open up those hips for you good now we have to do the other leg next so make sure you know what leg is going behind you here take note of it now well done oh shaking out that leg do you feel that nice pull there in the front of the hip okay if you want more time with it you can you don't need to take all this rest okay abs engaged all right ready for this one down we go you can see how long or how much time i take to balance my body i don't just shoot into the exercise don't lean back a little bit safer just to lean slightly forward with this one but you're not looking at the ground good reach up drive that weight up well done well, this is really going to challenge your balance you can feel all the little muscles tingling away reach up good use your breath come on that's it now we've got a chair rear delt coming next we're going to use the chair to help us work our back muscles now i'm going to try that a little bit heavier because i have assistance with the chair so i'll just put it out in front of you one weight will do and we're going to just engage the core bend over and we're going to reach up and down oh i'm feeling that in rep one and I'm, I'm actually going to just put a weight in the chair because it's moving on me keep going there okay abs engaged lift and lower so if you're ever using a chair on a wooden floor and it keeps moving on you just put a weight on it that's it good keep your neck relaxed lift and lower lift and lower good now we're not swinging the weight up and down we're actually using control contract your muscles use your abdominals to try and keep your hips square and facing the floor as well that's it good other side next and don't worry if you can't get too many reps with this exercise out come up and have a rest or if you want to you can go straight ahead uh, straight away okay if you're feeling uh, energized today get a couple more reps in if you need that rest take it if you need more than the 15 seconds that is fine good if you're feeling tired come up reset your tummy and go again okay this is your workout now so you do what you need to to suit yourself okay reach up feeling the shoulder working there well done let me tell you what's next we have a seated snow angel so you're gonna need your chair again that's it good reach up again you can do snow angel standing it does bring a little bit more core work into it so you can do it either seated or, seated or standing now if your shoulders are tired they should have a bit of fatigue in them after that you might want to just switch down now if you're going to sit down make sure your pubic bone goes down towards the chair that's the the bone in the center and up and down watch you're not going to bang your elbow off anything keep your workout space clear good breathe in <sighs> breathe out and like i say you can do this standing up if you like <sighs> good if you're standing up keep going there if, if, if you're seated put one leg behind you i think that really helps just takes a little bit of stress off the back don't lean back <sighs> breathe breathe out <sighs> breathe in now next one we're going to do a squat 
reach up to the ceiling, we've got a lot of shoulder work, and with a side leg lift. So the next exercise is very much um, hybrid move. So we're squatting down, keeping the chest up, reaching up, and we are going to lift the leg out to the side, okay? So side leg lift, hitting that glute medius muscle as well. So a lot of muscle groups coming into this one. Now don't lean too far to the side. I know it's very tempting to do this, but don't do that, okay? Take your time with it. You can repeat these moves if you like. Reach up, good. And reach. That's it, it's very tempting to lean to the side, but you've got to keep your abs engaged. Get the most out of each move you're doing. That's it, reach up, chest is up. Look forward, finding that fixed spot for me. If you find lifting the leg is too much, just you can always leave it on the floor, okay. Now we're going into a lunge position again, stepping back, and we're going to do a back fly. Now, because we're only doing it once, we'll have to switch the legs over halfway through this move, okay? So we'll try and get about eight or nine reps. We'll switch legs then. That's one, two, three, look up. Four, feeling a nice stretch in the front of the hip flexors there. Five, six, seven. Let's do one more. Eight, now switch around your legs. Don't rush into it, get your balance. And go again. One, two, three, four. Keep going, now you're feeling a lovely stretch. The further you put that, push your foot back behind you, the more challenging it will be on your balance, but the more of a stretch you get in your hip flexor. And of course, you're working the front of the, the leg here, the one out in front. Now the last one's the chair, crisscross mountain climbers. Okay, so you can go down lower if you like. You don't have to be doing this up on a chair. So the lower you go, the more challenging this will be. Crisscross the leg. Now before you start moving your body, pull your belly button to your spine. Keep your neck relaxed. Step back a little bit. Good. Now you can lower yourself down to a sturdy piece of furniture like a coffee table. That makes it harder or an exercise step. That's more of an intermediate level. And then you can go all the way down to the floor. Put your hands on the floor, flat on the floor, into plank position, and that's more advanced. Good. Don't let your hips sag, particularly if you're down on the floor in plank. And don't let your bum go up to the ceiling or you won't be really engaging your abdominals. Just there now, and you've done a great, this is a great workout. Well done, I'm really feeling the core there, okay. Let's switch this off. Whew. I built up a good sweat now with that one today. Well done, let's bring that heart rate down a little bit just in case it's elevated for you. I know some of the exercises <clears throat> certainly brought mine up, excuse me. So let's just take a moment just to lower the heart rate. And if you have time, you can always repeat that workout for a second time or if there's any exercises there you feel like you need a little bit of work on, practice them and I guarantee you, you will get better at them. So well done on today. Good work. Don't forget to hydrate yourself now. Keep that body hydrated for me. Good. Let's do a few little stretches before I say goodbye. And I will, I'm going to link up my longer cool downs for you. And just bring in your heart rate down here. You'll find them in the description box below the video. They're there for your convenience, okay? Just spending some time working on your mobility. Your flexibility. Good. Reach up in the middle here. Nice stretch for the torso, keeping your spine now nice <clears throat> and tall. Reach up, long arms by those earlobes. Feel a lovely stretch for the trunk. Well done. I'm going to say goodbye to you. Remember, um, the cool downs are in the description box. I'd like, to, like you to spend a little bit longer than uh, one or two minutes. I think you really should be spending about 10 to 15 minutes just uh, stretching and working on mobility, particularly hip mobility, because a lot of people do have, tend to have a little bit of issues with tightness in around their groin and their hip. And some of those exercises on the chair will become a lot more doable for you if you work on your mobility. Thanks for joining me today. Double thumbs up to you, you did a great job, and I'll see you in the next one.